Hey, GED students, uh, let's talk about how to use our TI-30XS MultiView, that's the GED calculator, in order to do conversions. So what am I talking about when I say conversions? I'm talking about switching between two equivalent forms of a number. So, for example, we have different ways that we'll write the same number, like, for example, one-half. One-half, you can just write one-half. That's a fraction. Uh, you could write 50%. That's the same idea, but as a percent. Or you could write 0 0.5. And again, the same idea, but as a decimal. So there's three different forms of the same number. So there's a whole lot of convert buttons on the TI. But every single time there's a conversion, it always has an arrow. So let's go ahead and take a look. Look right here right above the enter button this is the quick convert button and I'll just push it I've got nothing on my screen so there's nothing to convert uh, but that one um, often will flip between two of the most common forms and we'll see we'll use that quite a few times today but we have some other converts uh, right here above the close parentheses I see a convert to percent see that little arrow up here I see F uh, convert those convert arrows it looks like it goes back and forth so this one will convert between fractions and decimals and that's in green above the table button and then right next door above the 10 times 10 to the n button we see a plain old fraction n over d converting to u n over d a mixed number so I can convert back and forth from fractions to mixed numbers with that one so lots of conversion buttons let's go ahead and look at some problems that we would use them in so first one I have we're gonna look at this one CG 12 convert 3.2 into a percentage let's go give it a try so if I want to convert it to a percentage I need to type it in first 3.2 and then I need the convert to percent button and there it is remember don't use the plain old percent button use the convert to percent button with the arrow so that's in green so I need to press second and then I can press that close parentheses it will convert 3.2 into a percent and you'll see that's actually quite a large percent 320 percent uh, now, our next problem wanted us to convert a fraction into a decimal. Convert four-fifths into a decimal. Okay, let's go give that a try. So I want to put in a fraction, so I'm going to use my N over D button. And I do notice that I have that beautiful horizontal fraction uh, bar. If you didn't have that one, it would be because of the mode you're in. It's not that big of a deal to this problem, but make sure you're in math print mode for fractions. And it was four-fifths I wanted to put in, so I'll put in four on the top. Five on the bottom and I'm going to arrow out of that before I convert it into a decimal. So there's the convert fraction to decimal button. Now I have to tell you the truth. The thing about four-fifths is this isn't the only way to do this problem. A lot of you guys know that the fraction bar means the same as divide. So right from the start I could have just done four divided by five and I would have gotten out 0 0.8 or I could have put in my fraction four-fifths and then it just pressed a quick quick convert and it's going to quickly convert it to a decimal form okay even if I'm doing math on the GED and I end up with four-fifths sitting on my screen and I don't know what to do with it I need wanted a decimal answer I can just press that quick convert right above the enter and it'll most likely just flip it into a decimal form for me next one next one we wanted to try was converting 0 0.125 into a fraction so I'll make sure 0 0.125 is on my screen and let's see what quick convert does I've never used quick convert this way does it work Hey, hey, it did. It knew that I needed a fraction, but you could have also had 0 0.125 in here and use the button that I know would work, which is the fraction to decimal convert right above table. So second fraction to decimal, enter, and we still see it's one eighth. Next problem, I want to convert 59 over 3 into a mixed number. Some of you guys mistakenly call that simplifying. That's not simplifying. Um, it's just converting into another equivalent form of 59 over 3. I want it as a mixed number, like part whole number, part fraction. Like, for example, this right here, 5 and 3 fifths is a mixed number. So that's the form I'm looking for. So let's get back. So I'm going to put in 59 thirds first. I'll press the N over D button, type 59 on the top, arrow down to the 3. And we said it at the beginning, but there is the, right in the middle of your screen above 10 to the N, is the plain old fraction to mix number. And it's in green, so you're going to need to press second. And then, ooh, ooh, I wonder if it's going to work if I'm on the bottom of a fraction. Let's try it. I bet it's not. Syntax error. I screwed it up. Well, you a lot of students are probably screwed up that way too, so let's go back and do it right. So I'm going to go ahead and clear. Okay, let's try that one more time. I'm going to type 59 over 3. 
but this time I'm going to be smart and arrow out of the fraction before telling it to convert. Now I'll press second and then the convert to a mixed number button. And I see that is the same as 19 and 2 thirds, 19 and 2 thirds. Okay, there's my last one. Convert 5 and 3 fifths into an improper fraction, 5 and 3 fifths. Let's give it a try. Okay, so this time I want to input in a mixed number, not a fraction. So I don't need the N over D button, I need the U and over D button. That's written in green right above. So anytime I want something in green, I hit second, and then it gave me room now to type a mixed number, a whole and a fraction there. So I'm going to type the 5 in for the whole number, arrow over to the numerator to type 3, and arrow over the denominator to type 5. Now I'm not going to forget to arrow out of the fraction like I did last time before I press that exact same button, the n over d to u and over d. It converts both ways. That's why the arrows go both ways. And I press enter and I see 28 over 5. Now don't get me wrong guys, I know how to do all these conversions by hand and I hope that you do too, but it is super nice to also have this as a backup plan to know how to do it in your TI 30 XS. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.